Welcome to the Mike Record News, I'm your anchor the Yellum, and this might be the last time that you'll actually see reality in my videos. Our top story today. Well, I know I keep saying this whenever big news happens, like, oh, we've been waiting for this for a long time, but it happens again. We've been waiting for this for a long time, so I'm gonna say it again. What, ha what, what have we been waiting for? Oh, okay, you'll have to, we'll have to wait for it just a second. Although you probably have already seen in the thumbnail and the title of the video what we've been waiting for. But first off, um, we're going to start with something that isn't going to load and it's already the next event because usually the event is like the top part of the news but for some reason or the event is on the bottom part of the I, I don't know what they're doing point is yeah it, it's kagome it's kagome we get a kagome kagome's event right here which is about aruchan which is the little mandrake that talks to her which is completely separate from the kimochi part of her and completely separate from the magical girl part of her it's it's some weird stuff you're probably gonna have some fun wacky times with the event it's a double tower in case you like double towers you're gonna get a double tower right here is there anything else special about this event no i don't even see any special backgrounds or there's no costumes or anything it's just a really box standard double tower okay sure but yeah, what is what is the actual unit? That is more what, we, what you're here for because I know that most people who watch these videos they don't really care too much about the event itself unless it's like costumes or whatever. And like, oh my god, break new costumes! By the way, I need to say this because I haven't actually mentioned this in any video. I said during my Halloween video that the costume for Natsuki was going to be the ghost uh, costume. I totally forgot that she already had that. She already had the ghost costume. She got a completely different costume that made her look like a punk rocker or something. Um, she, it's, which basically means that she now has two Halloween costumes, but you know what, it's a bit late for me to say that because if you didn't know that uh, and you didn't get her uh, costume, then <laughs> sucks to be you, eh? But yeah, this is Kagome. She's a forest type and before I talk to you about what Kagome actually is like, there's going to be a Kimochi and it's the water type Kimochi, meaning that forest types are going to be good and she is a character that is good for water Kimochi because of course it fucking is. What is she actually like? Okay, so she is a support type with support kind of like discs, like usually two excelers, two charges, I guess is okay for supports. Although usually, like I say, usually if you're focused on your magia, which this character kind of is, uh, then three excelers is usually what you should go for, but this is like the second best lineup you can have. And then her connect is attack up, dazzle, and cleanse those aimants uh, on the person you connect to. It's not really that important, but the important part is it dazzles, okay? Now we're going to keep track of this. We have a dazzle, okay? Next up, the Magia does damage to all enemies, which if you have the doppel, the doppel will do adverse strengthen. It does guaranteed poison to all enemies. That's not two. I'm going to count that as a second thing that we're going to count. Uh, it also does force attack up to all allies. On doppel, it will be for five turns. Great. Uh, it does HP reach into all allies, it doesn't matter. And clears stars aims from all allies, yeah, it really doesn't matter as well. So the important part is it poisons all enemies and it uh, gives forest attack up. That's probably the best part. It gives forest attack up to all allies for five turns, meaning that she's already going to be a pretty good forest support. Now, the, the combo's had two. Here comes Spear Enhancement. It does to one target for five turns, guaranteed fog, guaranteed darkness, and we're gonna count that one double, guaranteed dazzle. Meaning that you have five separate sources of applying status ailments to enemies. Now it doesn't say how long the dazzle lasts, but I'm gonna assume it lasts for only one turn. But the dazzle from uh, the Magyar or Doppel lasts at least three turns, maybe on Doppel even five turns, we don't know. Um, but at least three turns of dazzle for, uh, of poison from the Magyar and another five turns of three different ailments from the uh, from the active, so even if you don't connect, even if you just start out turn one on Kimochi, uh, let's say it's the second or third round against the Kimochi, you start turn one with a doppel, you're gonna get three turns of uh, of poison and then five turns of three other ailments, so it's three turns of having four ailments on the enemy and then two more turns of having three ailments on the enemy, which is kind of fucking crazy. And we're gonna see why when I talk to you more about the, uh, the Kimochi, but Usually I talk about how terrible ailments actually are in this game. But this might be the one time where ailments are actually really fucking good. But I think it's, it's, uh, I'll tell you in a second. What else does she have? Well, if you're in PvE quests, on PvE quests she gains 30% MP gauge on battle start. I don't know why this is just on PvE, because 
you're not gonna you're probably not gonna play her in PvE anyway a uh, PvP anyway like in mirrors even if she did have this in mirrors so I don't know uh, she also has aqua attribute damage cut to everyone for five turns which really doesn't fucking matter to be honest like you're gonna use her, you're gonna use this unit in Kimochi okay it's just, this is a Kimochi unit you're not gonna die in Kimochi especially if it's if you're getting the shield against the type that you're strong against anyway like you think a water character is going to kill a forest team no, not, like, it's not it's not gonna fucking happen. So why the shield is way overkill. Um, unless you want to do some weak MP shenanigans, but I don't think there's weak MP shenanigans on this Kimochi anyway, so I don't, I don't think it matters. Uh, and then I think it's just anti magia seal, which, okay. Um, then we also have the Memoria, which uh, gives magia damage up, Excel up, and I think status resistance, yeah. No, wait, it's status resistance down to you. Oh, interesting. Not that it matters too much, but the important part is it gives Maga damage up and Excel PK up, which, oh yeah, for a Maga team and on this Kimochi, you're going to play a Maga team, is really, really good. So yeah, also it has the maximum max attack that you can have, 2,350. Might even be one that has 2,400, I'm not quite sure. But the important part is extremely high uh, base attack and really good bonuses for Maga teams. So yeah, that's, just, that's a really good one for Maga teams. And then the other one is uh, damage cut and defense up like doesn't matter so the the kimochi so why is it important for this kimochi so if you remember maybe this is the this is the kimochi that has been run the most times i think this is maybe the fifth time that this kimochi has been run and for comparison the ruby kimochi has been run twice and this one's been run like now i think five times which what the fuck FRS? what the fuck are you doing so this kimochi is the kimochi where you play forest units because it's water type and you play magia teams and the important part is at some point like two years maybe a year ago or something they <coughs> introduced the frailty status ailment now frailty is an ailment that this boss applies to itself uh, I think like one turn into the battle or something like after it uses magia like it uses magia turn one and then applies frailty to itself now what frailty initially did the first time it was introduced is it made the center tile only the center tile because usually only the center tile of any boss is affected by status ailments um, takes one percent more damage for every separate status ailment that is on the boss now that is basically nothing just the center tile 1% per ailment is basically nothing. No one gave a shit. But then they buffed it. Then it was 5% plus the last ailment on the center tile. And then it was actually like, oh, maybe, maybe. No, it's actually something that we might need to worry about. Now they buffed it again. I don't know to which percent they buffed it. We'll have to wait until it goes live. But they buffed the percentage once again. And more importantly, now it applies the damage buff to every tile now every buff uh, every tile counts as being frail now keep in mind this is only for frailty and frailty once again is the effect that makes the boss take bonus damage um per separate ailment that is on the boss and now suddenly it becomes very important that kakumi has four separate status aimments that you can apply for three turns and then another two turns of having three status aimments isn't that fucking great that we have a character like that just as they buff frailty through the roof amazing so yeah this this frailty buff now applies to all um tiles but normal ailments like burn for example or dazzle they still only apply to one tile the center tile which you know come on you, you can you can have those apply to every tile you've already done it for frailty just do it to the other ones as well now please just do it but the important part is that now ailments are a lot more important for this kimochi a lot more important than before and we've just now gotten a unit that is really good at applying at all kinds of different ailments to the enemy. Isn't that fucking great? Um, so yeah, uh, here's some units that you might want to use, although I don't think this is quite accurate because I don't really don't think you want to use Kako at all. Uh, Nemo is okay, although Nemo might completely destroy you. Like, like there's anti-synergy here because I think you want the boss to use Magia. Because when the boss uses Magia, it applies frailty to itself, but the boss uses Magia by giving itself MP regen. But you could dispel that MP regen with Nemu, and then the boss doesn't Magia, and if the boss doesn't Magia, it does not apply frailty to itself, so using Nemu would actually be fucking terrible. At least that's what I think happens, I'm not quite sure actually, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is the Kemochi is going to run. Uh... Isn't it only, oh yeah, it's, it's not going to run exactly like when 
when Kagomi release it, it runs as, it runs from the 5th of December, so you will have a bit of time to get like warmed up for this Kimochi. Um, and we will have Kagome's event first, and then as soon as Kagome event ends, I think that's when Kagome event ends on the 5th. Yes, when Kagome event ends, that's when the Kimochi is going to run. Just to make sure that everyone has plenty of time to roll for Kagome. That was that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.